Now, for those people that don't know, in the old days when a young lad fancied a young girl, he had to go and ask her father for her hand, which was bloody stupid considering her hand was the last part of her anatomy he's actually interested in. <laughs> and this is how he got rounded by his knowledge of horticulture. Now, for those people that don't know, horticulture is actually a knowledge of gardening, not high-class manners. <laughs> so in yonder valley, there's a garden that belongs to a maid. Now, better explain what a garden is. Um, for those people that live in high-rise buildings, they probably don't know. But you all sorts of different types of gardens. You've got the ones that are left totally to nature and they're full of brambles and stinging nettles and all sorts of things. Spiders. And uh, you should avoid them at all costs. And then you get the ones that are looked after. They're tidy and very nice. And then you get the ones that are a little bit over-trimmed. There's just a little bit of growth down the middle. They're called Brazilians. And then you get, obviously, the <clears throat> commando, which is just concrete laid over. We'll leave the uh, rockeries alone. Because there are all sorts of things you find in rock rockeries like uh, frogs and spiders and newts and maybe even crabs. And this is how he gets around it by his knowledge of gardening. In yonder valley there is a garden that belongeth to a maid. And in the spring my will does harden to go and dig with my spade. So sing high and behold, let's sing to the springtime, sing to the spring with the high diggy hole. High diggy hole, let's sing to the spring, and I with my spade will gardening go. Her father said, I want her money, and told me not to tarry near. I wonder if he'll think it's funny when I go and marry her. I waited till her father travelled far away across the phone. Now my plan I can unravel. Now her dad's away from home. So sing I be home. With a high diddy hole, high diddy hole, let's sing to the spring, and I with my spade will gardening go. I said, dear maid, tis now the season for to dig thy garden o'er. I did not tell her of my reason; she never had it. Tilled before thy lovely garden has lain fallow for these seven years and ten. But after I have set my marrow, it never shall lie waste again. So sing high any hope, let's sing to the springtime, sing to the spring with the high diddy ho. I can be home, let's sing to the spring, and I with my spade will gardening go. Now when she saw what I had brought, for digging she was sore afraid, and then I knew she'd not been taught, and that she'd never seen a spade. I gently led her through that day, cajoled and pleading like before. By evening I had got my way and entered at her garden door. So said, I, any hope, 
Let's sing to the springtime, sing to the spring with a hi-diggy-ho. Hi-diggy-ho, let's sing to the spring, and with my spade, we'll garden and go. Oh, how I worked, just like a slave, sweating at the galley oar. And when I rested, she would crave that I should come and dig some more. I dug a harrow, raked and planted, marrow seed till I felt flayed. <clears throat> Only then she was contented. I think I'll need a brand new spade. Sometime, <laughs> oh, let's sing to the springtime. Sing to the spring with the high diddy ho. High diddy ho, let's sing to the spring. And I with my spade will garden go. Now my marrow seed is in her. Garden growing wild and free. Now I think her wicked father will have to let her marry me. Some time. Oh, let's sing to the springtime, sing to the spring with the high video.